All right, World of Horror. New story. Continue. Customize the playthrough. So, how do I... There we go. Timeline B. Occult Capital of Japan. I don't think we've been able to play on... I think we've just been using the regular World of Horror timeline, so we haven't really done too much with that. Um, we have new backstories. Oh, this is going to be easy. Seventh Curse. Your family was cursed. Everyone around you will die. You start the playthrough with more funds, but can't have any human allies. Yeah, that's fine. Random unlocked cards, that's fine. Then Bueller. Let's go ahead and just play on the easy difficulty to see if it affects anything. I don't think it does. I guess we could play on Initiate. This is just basic difficulty, it seems like. Threat level lowered. Threat level increased. Character stats decrease stronger enemies. Yeah, I mean, this stuff doesn't really impact us at all. I can just keep playing on Initiate. It wasn't a big video. All right, hopefully Timeline B will change some things. That would be great. Yeah, and I haven't unlocked any more of these these gods yet, which is weird, but... Do we want to just do Thak Atarasu again? Why not, right? Pretty much the easiest one. Library notes. Use. And invisibility. That's pretty good. Uh, it's actually useless because I can't escape combat. But we'll hold on to that so that I can regain reason later. My home. Occult shop. Gonna want. Forest. Witch's tree. Confirm and continue. Continue. Open this. Just got library notes. Really useless. Another invisibility. You literally... Ugh, that's bad. That's irritating. Use Book of Gore. I could have just sold them for funds, but it's fine. Uh, get experience. And funds. That's fine. Alright, start a new mystery. Let's look at these. Two out of five for mermaids, crimson cape. Worrying right up of a wordless ward. Ward. Ah. Uh. Let's try to find some better ones. Residential recluse. All right, so we are unlocking new mysteries. Ooh. We got three new mysteries this time. Bizarre Bruit of a Blood-Curdling Botanist. That could be useful. Um, worrying right up of a wordless ward. Sure, let's just do these. New mysteries are fun. Worrying right up of a wordless ward. You've got a call from your classmate's mother. At the te uh, With a teary voice, she told your friend had... She told you your friend had a nasty accident and is currently awaiting an important surgery. They asked her to call you and request you spend a few evenings with them. That's weird. You haven't exactly had the closest relationship lately, but you agree to visit your friend starting tonight. Classmates at the hospital awaiting surgery. Go and visit them. Shop for items. Uh, yeah. Hmm, what do we want? What kind of items do we want, right? Because, like, if I, so if I'm just at the shop... I guess if we're just at the shop, then it's just going to be a, a, something that we're buying for ourselves. One-handed dex speed. Ugh, this sucks. None of this is good. We don't need any of this. Discount item. Bottle of milk. Sure. Plus one stamina. That's useful, I guess. Um, all right. Enter the hospital. Where could your classmate be? Ask about my classmate. You don't like the nurse's weird smile. Patients waiting for a special surgery, take the elevator in the corridor. Elevator doors open, brace yourself. Luck check, failure, minus three reason. All right. 
Patient's here. We're getting restless. What's wrong? Check the patient room. Your friend is lying on the bed, still sleeping after the surgery. Their face is almost completely covered in bandages. You sit on what must, uh, what must be the most uncomfortable chair in the world. Thinking how pointless it is to wait here, having nothing else to do, you decide to go and buy something to drink from the vending machine. Really taking a lot of reason damage here while I don't have access to my ritual dagger. Tail woman wearing a nurse outfit stops you. Today we're running a blood drive to help those in need. You look healthy. Would you be so kind to help the community? Sure. Luck check success. You feel like they took more blood than they should. You feel weak but fulfilled knowing you are helping. Subtraction of doom there is useful. Your friend woke up earlier today. You've spent some time talking about school and recent events, but you still can't shake the feeling something about them seems off. Finally, they go to sleep, decide to walk to stretch your legs. The only metro line in your town connects the university and the science complex. Take a ride. Even though the metro car is completely empty, you arrive at your station without any problems, minus 2% doom. Hell yeah. Curious package. The next day on your way home, you are stopped by your friend's mother. She hands you a package for her child. You promise to hand it over right away. You shouldn't open it right now. What could be inside? Patients here are getting restless. What's wrong with this place? Move to corridor A. Uh, help the man across, the sticker check failure. You struggle to help the man, but you both fall down the stairs. The man's cast breaks and you scream. Underneath the cast, there's a seething sore from frothing with green bubbles. The man smiles, his smile way too wide for his face. Patient room. Hey, your mom asked me to bring you this package, you say, handing over the parcel. When asked what's inside, they just stare at you. Bring your hand in the hole, plus injury, we've got a bite. Ugh. That's fine, we're in the hospital. The next day passes without any incident. Before you know it, another evening has come. With an re increasing reluctance, you head towards the hospital, enter the doctor's office, bite. Man, badly bruised. Minus one strength until the end of the current mystery. That's fine. Corridor A. You stumble upon a nurse trying to open the door with the, to the intensive care unit, constantly mumbling something. When she turns around, her face makes you scream in horror. Ah! ah spooky nurse! <laughs> Wasn't too bad. Patients here are getting restless. What's wrong with this place? Your friend just keeps staring at you. Did I tell you you're really beautiful, they ask, twisting, the, twisting their swollen lips into a smile. Don't go yet. Continue. Increase my stamina. Seeing the two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the last week. Research occult notes. Knowledge check success. Notes lying nearby tell of ancient civilizations and unspeakable horror. You've managed to learn an incantation, but the horrifying image will stay with you for a long time. Cool. Gain a spell. Uh, I don't need to use that. We'll just forget these spells. Now we're healthy on reason. Enter the hospital looking for information about a certain patient. The man in the corridor is dark and strangely empty. Or the main corridor is dark and strangely empty. You spot a nurse at the registration booth. She's asleep from exhaustion. Set trash can on fire. You set the trash can on fire. It causes a widespread panic, but it allows you to rummage through the cabinet and find the information you need. Yay. Patient room. Final phase of my surgery is tomorrow. I just can't wait to show you the results. You can't help but shudder thinking about the final day. Meet with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof. Ask about them. 10 experience, two reason. That's fine. We're getting closer to leveling up. Entering hospital. Suddenly, all the lights in the hospital go out. With a bad feeling in your gut, you decide to check on your friend one last time and get the hell out of here. You are shocked to find an empty bed. The parcel you've delivered lies unwrapped on the nightstand. Ignoring the faint footsteps from the corridor, you take a peek. Inside, there's a torn price tag for a butcher's knife. The footsteps are getting louder. You like what I did with my face? I've always admired you. You know, even when you acted like you didn't know me at all. I think the result is perfect. Too perfect, in fact, for two people to share the same face. Your friend raises the butcher knife you involuntarily brought. He looks just like me. The, the resemblance is uncanny. Let's see. 
What is this? Oh, these are like special weird skills. This is too much. You close your eyes fighting the increasing dizziness. Is this a special one? That's interesting. Dodge. What does that do? Special run. Oh, th this is a this is a run away. I can just run away from this thing. What's that do? You successfully run from you. Smiling nurse wakes you up. This is your final day here, kid. Can't wait to finally get out, right? Panicking, you get out of the hospital bed and rush to the mirror. You had a nasty accident a week ago. You did. The nurse continues writing something on the discharge form. A minor concussion and a few nasty bruises, so we had to keep you here. At first glance, everything seems to be fine. Sure, your face is slightly swollen and, blue, and blue, but that's to be expected. Did you really have an accident and simply don't remember it? Yeah, that must be it. This weird friend must have been a nasty dream. But as the nurse's smile gets wider and wider, why won't your shoes fit you anymore? <laughs> that's fun. That's a quirky one. Surgery, who are you? All right, that was weird. That was a fun little encounter. We're only at 12 Doom, so not really that big of a deal. I'll regain some reason, open stuff, Get some light switches. Next mystery. So that was Wordless Ward. Bizarre Bruit of Blood Curdling Botanist. That's gonna be, that's one that we've already done a bunch of times. We're looking for Shiro-san again. Shiro-san, Shiro-san. My Japanese is is upsetting. It's, it's upset right now with me. Investigate the school twice, try to get some stuff. Glimpse of an art class, take could be horrified, minus two stamina. Drink that to have an empty bottle. See, the school again. If we get the sludge thing, I'll grab it, but we don't want to. Time Warper. Everything comes to us. Wow, that's weird. I should have uh, farmed Doom to get the um, Ritual Dagger. That was my bad. I'll do that next. That hurt. New yet undefined species of cordyceps, fungus. We already knew that. Downtown. Occult shop. Uh, holy candle's pretty good. Occult shop. Ritual dagger. Yes, we got everything we wanted right away. Equip. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Doom only at 22%. Investigate downtown. We'll be able to get our reason back in combat. Plus curse. Ugh. Traumatized my max reason. Oh, that's fine. That's whatever. Through the dirty restaurant window. Um, call the police. Charisma check success. Please thank you for the tip and promise to keep an eye on the house before you go. They give you a reward. Plus one funds. Nice. Uh, village time. Give me combat encounters so I can heal. Friend returning from a trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast full of exotic meats. It's getting late and you can't stay for long, but the host asks if you want to take anything home with you. That wine is terrific. Of course, I, I, I have enough bottles to last a whole year, your friend says, handing you a bottle. Hey. All right, what do we want? Folklore studies will allow us to fit more uh, attacks into a single turn, which will be very, very useful. Um... Go ahead and do that very early wine bottle addictive liquid plus three reason flip this card sell for fun Let's keep that in my inventory it's dark you don't remember trees growing so close to each other parasitic organism burrows under the bark get close to it knowledge check success Hmm. 
Wet splash behind makes you stop. Oh, okay, gotcha. This is the same worm girl fight. So we're gonna do one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, we have two more. So one, two, three. I can do one more. Good, all right. So it says it affects your next attack's accuracy, but I think it affects all of the attacks that turn. Let's get the ground for clues, five experience. That's fine. We don't need to worry too much about that. In the forest, you hear a faint whimpering, help the dog, plus an ally. Fine. Dream salesman, neat. Thick. Suspicious group, attempt to climb it. Strength check success. You managed to see some of the faces and hear the names of group, plus five. So that was a new event for us, basically. We've never we've never gotten the success on that. Finally, after what feels like hours, you find the mansion, continue. All right, this time I'm gonna let him die. I didn't realize this would do this. I, okay, whatever. That's fine. We'll get this ending. That's fine. That's over. Not a big deal. Fungus dies with the gardener. It's fine. Thinking, uh, oh no, my reason is really low. That's fine. Old gods. Home, take a pee, take a bath, fill bath water, use that, extra reason regained. We're in a bad spot already, this is wild. Gilgamesh asks, I've uh, just tuned into you playing this game, what's this game about? This is a roguelike that is inspired by Junji Ito manga. All right. Uh, we do have these new ones, so it'll be good to get those. Not worry too much about it. Vicious verses of a violent vigil. Uh, just do this one. Investigate this story. Explore this mansion. My strength is going to be really low, which will be unfortunate, but... Oh, I should have rested and stuff. That's fine. Talk to that. Explore the mansion. Minus two reason, plus one item. Patina ring. We'll equip that for now. It's fine. Dilapidated corridor. Person. Vigil pamphlet. Clap. Bow, bow, clap. Try to do this. Clap, bow, bow, clap. Investigate toe. Cool. Dilapidated corridor. Uh, vigil pamphlet. Burn an envelope found in the study. Huh. Okay. Uh, just explore. Yeah, so it's the same thing. 12 a.m. prayer over the body. My guess is it's not gonna exist. <laughs> Found you at last. Resolve this event. Okay. Check out the supper. Strength check passed. Spells nauseating, but you put some meat on your plate plus item. Long pig steak. Long pig. It's human. Uh, thankfully, I am a ferret, so it's fine. Hunger. Minus one charisma. They look tasty. <laughs> That's fun. Let's not pretend like we want to be here. Meat cleaver. Cannibals. Sell this item. Don't care about that. Master bedroom. There's nothing there. All right. Mm. 
In the middle of a room, you see a man tied to a care chair. Oh yeah, it's the cult member. Just beat him up. <laughs> Curious statuette. Yay. 12 a.m. We'll go to the master bedroom. The body's gone. That's fine. <sighs> Nothing in there. All right, what is this? 2 a.m. Burn an envelope found in the study. Okay, so we'll just wait for 2 a.m. See if that does anything. Oh my god, another injury. Let's see if we can just progress from here. It didn't seem like I could, but touch the stone. Minus two stamina. That's bad. All right, 2 a.m. Study. I can burn the envelope. That's what the vigil pamphlet says, right? Yes. Burn the envelope. Okay, so I can do this again as long as I can pass that second check. All right, so maybe we do just have to do this. Cover the mirror in the storage room in the next one. Will we get a new ending for this or what? Uh, check out the table, knowledge check success, five experience. Storage room. Why can I not cover the mirror? Isn't this when I had to do this? 3 a.m. Vigil pamphlet. What am I supposed to do? I just... Uh. Okay. Uh, I guess we can't do it, so I guess we're just gonna get the bad ending then. That's fine. Colonel says you're supposed to play the game good. I'm actually just supposed to, I'm supposed to get really lucky and, um, yeah, I'm just supposed to get really lucky. That's really all there is to it. This is a really good item. Sell the backpack. Resolve this event. Vigil is nearing its end, blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh my God, hold on. I can sacrifice the guests or I can carve the cursed symbol. Hell yeah, let's do that. Bloated corpse of your uncle slowly floats into the room as the remaining walls collapse. The contract is not over yet. Cheated death twice. Horrible old man. All right. I think I could just do this. Save. Got him. Contract is void. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the grass. The old mansion nowhere to be seen. Next to you are the other guests, as confused as you. Everything feels like a bad dream. Was the man claiming to be your granduncle really trying to cheat death itself? Hey, we got we got another ending. Yay! You and the other family members finally exit the forest and leave the nightmare of it behind. One thing is certain, though, you will never open any more letters by law firms from Tokyo. Okay, so we were supposed to do the vigil. It's just sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. That's obnoxious. <laughs> All right, winds of plague, treatment and surgery actions cost more. That's fine. We have like no doom, so we can just rest and stuff. Like that's not that big of a deal. Art, knowledge, leadership, or outdoorsmen. What do we want? Charisma through leadership. Art knowledge increases perception. This increases luck, which is a really, really great thing. Um, it would be good to just have more reason so that we don't die. So I'll do that. Waste that level up a little bit. All right. Let's see. Take this. Gamer girl bath water. Take a slurp. Extra stamina. Very good. All right. Uh, start a new mystery. Wordless ward, botanist, vigil, mysterious myth of Medusa metamorphosis. That only has one ending, so that's scary. Mysterious myth of Medusa metamorphosis. Everyone is talking about this weird giant jellyfish ambushing swimmers. Even the local biology teacher can't identify the species as more and more people end up hurt badly. You remember from reading an article that a famous marine biologist is spending his vacation in the city. Maybe you should seek help from him. Give it a try. Famous biologist is spending his vacation at the seaside mansion. You need to take a bus there. 
Snidaria study. Investigate the school twice. All right, we'll do that. Um, but first, we're going to go home, and we're going to rest a few times. Get our stuff up. We have a lot of spare. Uh, look at his, like, little bloody cannibal mouth. He's got a cute little snoot. Uh, all right. Uh, investigate the school twice. Noble Gilgamesh asks, what does Grand Uncle even mean? The scoots responds, Grand Uncle is your grandparents' brother. Yes. It's your uncle, but uh, but your grandpa. It's like a grandpa uncle. trail growing cold it might be time for a different approach but a similar case have occurred in the past a trip to the library might be a good idea study issues of local newspapers minus three percent doom ten percent experience yay near the closing time you stumble upon a curious article at the last page of a local newspaper some scientists say certain medusas don't age constantly growing in size is a medusa a kind of jellyfish i didn't know that travel downtown Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone. Let the police handle it. Mind just one reason, that's fine. Travel to the seaside. Taking the bus, you can't help but notice a large number of trees that have suddenly died. What could be the cause? You know, now that we're actually getting like more mysteries and stuff, and we're we're possibly seeing more endings with it being on this B timeline, then maybe this is the this is the way that we do this. Maybe this is how we get more of the endings and see more of the content. Resolve this event. You finally arrive at the seaside. The water here is unnaturally cold and unwell. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's weird. You shouldn't be able to see the lighthouse from this side of the bay. There is no lighthouse. You spot a woman on the beach and decide to get closer and ask what she is doing alone at this late hour. When the woman turns around, you stop. Her mouth is opening and shutting, gulping in air as if it was unnatural to her. Her large eyes... In her large eyes, there's only rage. Koi woman. Get dunked on. Infected wound major. Ooh, that's gonna be... Well, I guess we'll just have to go to the hospital to fix that. Curse mental. Travel to hospital, enter the hospital, enter the doctor's office, infected wound, surgery, uh, can't heal that, hunger, can't heal that, those are both curses. All right. Investigate forest. Some of the mansions are abandoned and the roads leading to them are overgrown. You have to somehow find the biologist's vacation home. It should be easy. Despite your best efforts, you feel like... Okay, the location's threat level increased. That's actually not too bad. You finally enter the right place. Inside, there are many jars of various jellyfish species, but where's the bi biologist himself? Minus two reason. Oh, that's brutal. You finally enter the right place. Inside, there are many jars of various jellyfish species, but where's the biologist himself? Sudden storm forces you to find shelter. Try to decipher them. Knowledge check success. You recognize the strange symbols and connect them to the horrors plaguing your town. Oh, oops. I was just investigating the forest for no reason. <laughs> Investigate the mansion. Confused there for a second. Gilgamesh says, I looked it up in Medusa's life cycle of a jellyfish. Gotcha. Interesting. Yeah, so uh, that's interesting. So I guess this is about jellyfish. I thought we were literally going to be fighting, like, the Greek Medusa. Investigation taking a toll on you. 4% doom. Uh, sure, investigate the mansion. Inside the dusty study, you find a map of the cliffside with one point clearly marked. Is this where the biologist is performing his studies? It's where he's summoning the jellyfish goddess. Feel watched. Light the holy candle. You light the holy candles, purifying the room, 3% doom. It paid off. Standing on the beach, you realize something. The map's coastline doesn't match the actual thing. Why is that? Travel to the seaside. Decide to enter a small shady bar in the docks. Maybe some of the old fishermen can help you in your quest. Persuading them to do so might prove difficult. Funds and experience. Yay, we got plenty of funds. The tides. The rise and fall of the sea level changes the coastline. You should wait. The low tide reveals a semi-sunken cave, which corresponds to the map location marked on the map. Reluctantly, you enter into the unknown. 
Low tide reveals semi-sunken cave. Is this the place where the biologist is running their experiment? Whatever you decide to do, you should hurry. When the high tide comes, the whole cave will be submerged underwater, potentially trapping you there. You explore the cave, trying not to slip and fall into the cold water. Hearing some weird noise from behind the corner, you brace yourself. A humanoid creature seems to have no skin. Its black blood courses through yellow veins, and its pale, sinew, and powerful muscles are visible. It screams and lunges in your direction. This is like the ending of the perfect blue novel. Waves violently crashing into rocks as the gory horror begins to circle you. Yeah, so that was a special encounter with the hospital one. It's only after the meat horror falls to the dead ground dead that you notice a bag further down the cave. Inside you find a bunch of neatly folded clothes in a journal. It belongs to the famous marine biologist you were looking for. Last entry dates back to when the jellyfish attack started. The ancient tablet I found when exploring the caves near Shiokawa has, for the lack of a better word, cursed me. I can't explain this, but every other night my skin slips off my body as if it has a mind of its own. It always returns to me in the morning. I just have to wait in the cave where the tablet was. What is happening to me? What will happen to the giant skin jellyfish without its host's body? You have no idea, and hopefully you'll never learn the answer. Ending A. Well, it looked like this only had one ending, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, what do we want? Reporter's bag isn't super necessary. Perception up could be good. Bonus experience. Yeah, we'll just do that one. It's fine. And uh, we'll also increase our strength. Sweet. All right. Hey. Getting further along. Take a bath. Slurp that bath water. Uh, we'll get some reason back as well. <laughs> All right. Restless rumors of a residential recluse. All right, so that's just the last one. We'll have to figure out how to uh, how to get all of the endings. It seems like there's only two, so it's probably just have a thing, don't have a thing. While you don't get much normalcy in your life these days, today was supposed to be just that. You'd been planning to take today to de-stress before your next investigation. Instead, you awoke to find yourself trapped inside your own apartment. The walls have grown over the door and windows, leaving no exit. Looking through the people, you yell and call out to passing neighbors, but your cries fall on deaf ears. Who could have done this to you? More importantly, how are you going to get out of here? All right, so it's the room. I'm in my own house. The windows are covered in a thick layer of drywall, leaving only shallow cavities. The front door isn't much better, but there could be some way out, right? Can't click anything. Waste a day. Sitting on the sofa, you find yourself repeatedly checking time to get some grounding. When you go to eat, though, you realize the clock in the kitchen displays a different time, and your bedroom alarm clock is completely different from each of the others. You need a battery change, probably. You're sure there's some explanation, you shrug it off and get your food. You pretend you're not nauseous when the clocks later show negative numbers, jumbled words, and nothing at all. Minus two reason, that's fine. If only I had a holy candle here. No access to the outside world means you only have so much food to eat. Deep in the back of your pantry, you discovered a rusty can of meat. How long has this thing been there? Opening the can, it smells fine, but eat it. Strength check failure. You already regret the decision by the first disgusting bite. An hour later, you feel something writhing in your stomach trying to get out. Maybe that meat was too fresh. Something moving inside your stomach. Not good. Sleep schedule is starting to drift. The hours just seem to slip past you. The day is over before you know it. Go to the front door. No matter, the wallpaper and paint have spread around the door's edges. No matter how hard you try, the door refuses to budge. Look through the peephole. This is extremely silent. Hell. Weird drawings stuck to your door. I guess I have to wait until I get that access. Use the bathroom. You notice there's a clump of hair coming up the sink drain. You're certain that it's not yours. Pull it out. Luck check failure. There's a startling amount of resistance when you pull. Before you can react, the hair is suddenly yanked back down and out of sight. Minus one reason. Closet. That's what the peephole said, though. You still change your clothes every day, but there is any point in you not if you're not going outside. Yes. I'm confused. Why did it point me there if I can't do anything with it? When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Read the letters, minus two funds. That's fine, I got plenty of funds. Front door, look through the peephole, can't see outside. My room. 
just standing there makes you lightheaded. Cool Metal Gear and uh, and what's his name? Isn't that the little thing from uh, Police Knots? Not Police Knots. Snatcher. Right behind the wardrobe. Something guides your hand. What is this? Waste another day. Investigation can wait. Hot bath is too inviting. Take a bath plus one reason. Ugh. Look behind shelves. Someone guides your hand. What is this? Check the note. I used to live here too. This was the only place that was uh, safe. Affordable, maybe? Good. All I could do was stay in, eat, and sleep, and when the food ran out, just sleep. When someone eventually came for me, my corpse had already made my way inside. You moved it. I can't tell you how happy being with you has made me. Please don't worry. I will keep you safe, I promise. All right, that's not good. It's inside me. You don't have much of an appetite. It's better that way. Keeping you warm within her ribcage. Spooky house. Plus one curse removal. Use. You prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far, you're very tired, ice cold water is a good idea. Hot bath. Bath is so inviting that you spent an extra hour in it plus one doom. That's fine. Approach the wall. As you get closer, you notice thin cracks in the wall above the bed. Something dark, glistening, and red pulsates inside. The cracks move like lips, and the apartment whispers to you, just lay down. You hear wooden support beams creak as the walls flex, reaching toward you from all sides, and let me take care of you. Prepare for combat! The wall opens even further, deeper. A girl lies curled up inside the apartment's womb. I just want you to be safe here. What did I do? Why won't you just stay? Roommate. That's a great boss name. Sever, sever. There we go. Dissolve combat. Girl's face twists oddly, the apartment's pulsating innards slow to a still. The girl mouths something you can't make out, she smiles, you fall unconscious. When you awaken, you're lying in the apartment entryway beside the open door. The next morning, you see a silhouette on the balcony staring out at Shiokawa and watching the sunrise. You blink and she's gone. After that, you never see her again. And after that, your apartment becomes just an apartment. Restless rumors of residential recluse ending A. All right, hey. Preparing for the worst, people are stocking up on everything, things are expensive. Yep. Take the key. Take a bath. What do I need? Reason. Bottle of water. Use. All right, hey, it's time to finish this run. Doing a pretty good job here. Lighthouse, ominous lighthouse has been closed for longer than you can remember. Enter the lighthouse. Rest a bit. There we go. 75% doom, we got plenty of time. Bizarre Brood of the Blood Curdling Botanist was number two. Correct answer. <sighs> Try to reason with her, it doesn't work, that's fine. Winding staircase, find a switch. I didn't cut myself because I have good dexterity. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped. Wait a minute. Second enemy I fought this run was... You, correct answer. Production, uh, leadership, charisma, why not? Grab the metal rods, knowledge check pass. Beak Thak Atarasu, we did it. 11 new enemies, two new achievements, three new events. All right, doing an okay job then. Not bad. All right, so we finished that run, sweet. That's not too bad.